Ninus BreachCast, the world's first identity management app made exclusively for identity experts and product owners, is available in the iOS App Store now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nidus Anarchy series. I'm your host, Adam, CIO and co-founder of Nidus, and today I want to talk about Replit, an amazing AI app that will develop entire applications for you. I just found this today and I wanted to show it to you because it's crazy. So I, 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 this seems to be the, the release now is all this AI stuff going toward coding development, but this one's a whole new level. So we started with making the health app and showing how we could make an entire React app, but had to copy and paste all the code, but I made shell scripts to do it all for me and all that. That's all great. Still a lot of human in the middle. Now OpenAI released Canvas, which allows real-time editing and watching and code transitions and everything right there on the screen within the prompt editing, which is pretty awesome too, but not a full-blown IDE. This thing takes it to a whole new level. You prompt it with what application you want to make, and it does the whole thing. It does all the planning, the building, all the code development, UI, and it runs it all in here too. So what I want to show you is an example of making an app. So for this, we're gonna make we're gonna put in a prompt to make some kind of crazy app. Let's do something where okay, I'm looking at the sword. This is the, an album by the sword, which is an amazing band. So let's do this. Let's make uh let's see. Okay, so make a web app that takes in a band name and then scours the internet and funnels all the information into OpenAI to deliver a synopsis of the band. Show photos of every member over a timeline and a weird fact about the band. Have the results page be the band. Let's move this over here real quick. Be the band logo and use Dali to generate an AI image of the band playing a show in the backyard of a first grade birthday party. Start building. Okay, this is crazy. So it's going to figure out how to build out this whole thing, build out the code, and then create the whole project. So let's see what this thing does. I'm really curious to see. I've only played, played around with this once, so we're kind of learning how this app works out together. But you can see it reviewing instructions, determining best approach. So it's actually doing something. Okay, so it's starting to talk to me. So it's like a chat bot. Absolutely, let me propose what we'll build for you. Detecting potential issues. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wow. I've created a plan for a web application that takes a band name as input, gathers information from the internet, and uses OpenAI to provide a synopsis, member timeline, and weird facts. It also includes DALI integration for generating an AI image. The app will be built using Flask and vanilla JavaScript. Let me know if you'd like to proceed with this plan or you need any modifications. Build the initial prototype. Would you like any of these additional features? We can also make changes later. Implement caching to improve performance. I don't really care. Uh, add audio samples or popular songs of the band. Yeah, that sounds rad. Create a comparison feature to compare two or more bands. No. Implement user accounts to save favorite bands. Now this is good enough. Okay, let's approve, plan, and start. Okay, building the initial prototype. So it says it's thinking. Reviewing your instruction. And it's building. And, whoa. It's building. Look at that. It's building all the files on the left-hand side there. Showing the full project and images. Generated icon.ping. I wonder what that is. I don't even know. Now, how's it going to know? Okay, so there it says get open AI key. So how do I put in the open AI key? That's going to be interesting. Oh, well, let's just let it do its thing. Right now, we can just see. Oh, I can pause it if I want to. That's pretty right. Man, it is creating everything. All the Python files, the static file. What happens if I tap on this? Am I going to mess it up? Nope. What? Oh, it shows me how many files are in each thing. That is rad look at that installing open ai dependencies oh wow so it's building all this stuff on a box somewhere it's installing all the dependencies for all the python required libraries and everything this is crazy this is insane this is <laughs> I, and i've said this before we are absolutely getting to a point where you no longer will have to know how to code You'll just need to know what app you want and tell it what to write and it will make it. So being able to understand how to create prompts to create the best code is going to be the direction of development, which is nuts. And really this is, we're in MVP land, right? Like this is just to get the most, you know, a, a quick little project up and running to show your idea from refining. I don't know how 
how amazing it's going to be from refining because you're still going to need graphic designers and stuff like that to build it all out for uniqueness and all that but still this is saving weeks of time for people that if you don't even know how to code at all this is saving you months of time you don't have to develop or know anything you don't have to know any type of code ian could do this we should have ian make an app next <laughs> okay so now it's re it keeps reviewing my instructions so every time it gets us something it's oh okay here we go to use the open api open ai api for generating band information and images we need your open api key please provide the api keys to be securely stored in environment variable and you will not be visible to the code okay so i'm going to get that so let's go over here We'll go to, uh, I'm not sure where it is. Let's just search for opening API. Yep, platform to openai.com. Okay, I'm in. Now let's get an API key. So profile, API keys. Uh, okay, let's create a new secret key that we can delete. Delete me. So don't even bother copying it because it ain't going to work. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I now have an API key. I'm going to paste this value in here. And I'm doing this all on my iPad, which is crazy. Add a secret. Doink. It's thinking. And it's going. Wow. This is a development server. Do not use it in a production deployment. Use a production WSGI is server instead. Restarting Flask, editing utils, determining best approach. Wow, this is crazy. Look at all the files that it has generated over here. We have config files, building files. I'm, I'm really I'm really curious to see how it does the image generation. And I also am curious about the response time on this stuff. Which model is it using? Does it is it query? Oh, it's done. Is the main page of the band information app displaying correctly? Can you see the form to enter a band name? Absolutely I can. Yes. Okay, it's thinking again. I don't want to mess with it. I'm not sure if I should... Be... Oh, great. Now that we can see the main page, let's test the functionality. Could you please enter a band name, e.g. the Beatles? We're not going to do the Beatles. In the form and submit it. After submitting, please let me know if you see the band information, including synopsis, weird fact, memory time, and age. Okay, so basically, does it work? Let's see. An error occurred. Please try again. No. Just an error occurred please try again okay so how does it handle fixing bugs okay here we go now is our console cleared out yep right, let's see what it does now okay let me over, done get band info let's watch the console okay so calling open api to generate band info for slayer so it's able to call open API because it's getting all the information. It's, it's getting all the info. It's just not saving it for some dumb reason, which it shouldn't be. It should just be writing it to the screen. Oh, it is done. Whoa, here we go. Okay. Let's see. Synopsis. Slayer, an American professional band formed in 81 in Huntington Park, California, became iconic with their aggressive style and controversial lyrics. Known for their influential album, Reading Blood, and their sound and thematic content, often involving extremism and the occult, made them cornerstone in the thrash metal genre. Weird fact. Drummer Dave Lombardo designed the band's iconic logo inspired by imagining how a murderer would carve out the logo with a knife, unintentionally slanting it to the right due to him being left-handed. Huh. I didn't know that. I just learned something new. I mean, I knew the carving part, but I didn't know the slanting because he left handed. Okay, band member timeline. Rad. Okay. Oh, and it did it! I mean, that's not Slayer, but that's hilarious. That's a band that would be playing a Slayer song at a birthday party in the backyard with a kid as the drummer, which is even more hilarious. Dude, look at this. It sort of uh, resembles Slayer, right? A little well, bit. Well, let's. Yeah. Okay, so now, that's the only thing missing. Everything else is good. Okay, so let's see if we can fix the logo, and let's try a different band. Give me a band name. A, a real band? Yeah. Deftones. Deftones. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have this update, and then we're gonna test it out with Deftones. See, look at that. You have little faith. It works. You just gotta give it some time. You gotta finesse it a little bit. Okay, here we go. Now, now this was coded for Slayer, but I'm gonna see how hard coded is. We're gonna put in Deftones now. Let's see. 
get band information. Let's go to the console log. Yep, it's getting Deftones information. Okay, cool. Is this thing showing? The only thing there's no progress indicator, which I'd really want to see, so I know it's doing something, but hey, you know what? That can all be added later. I'm not actually trying to make this into a real web app. It's done. Still no logo. Whatever. I'm not even going to bother anymore. Deftones an American alternative band formed in Sacramento, California in 88, known for their experimental style. They've been dubbed the Radiohead of Metal. Their third album, White Pony, gained critical acclaim with a Grammy Award. The band faced a tragic setback when bassist Chi was left in a minimally conscious state after a 2008 accident, passing away in 2013. Really? He died? Yeah. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't know enough about Deftones, honestly. Wow. He was in what happened? Uh, I, 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 it was a car accident, I believe. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Weird fact. Stephen Carpenter was 15 years old when he was hit by a car while skateboarding. Confined to a wheelchair for several months, he began teaching himself to play the guitar during his recovery. That's that crazy. Timeline of band members. And here's a band that's supposedly Deftones playing at a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a different band name. Let's do uh, something completely different genre. Um, let's do Taylor Swift. I don't know anything about Taylor Swift. So, error occurred. Now let's see all the files. So, here's all the files that it made. This is actually pretty impressive of everything that it's done in here. I'm just going to expand everything up. Oh, it's, it even has a Git? Wow, so I can just chuck this thing right into a GitHub. This is rad. Oh, here, wow, here's where I can connect to the databases, cloud services. Holy crap. Workspace features, GitHub, code search, debugger, output. Man, there's so much more to play with this thing. I'm not going into it all. I'm just going to tap on Git because I'm just curious. Oh, what? So it's been making commits the entire time. So that's what those checkpoints are. Those are all commits. Look at this. That's crazy. So, yeah. I can push to a repo. What? Connect to GitHub. I'm not even going to. That's. Okay. This, this app is amazing. It's super cool. Replit.com, R-E-P-L-I-T.com. Whatever you can think of, it's pretty good at making it. And uh, with a little bit of troubleshooting back and forth, and it's that's impressive. I mean, this would have easily taken probably a day or more of development time of like a legit Python developer to make this work and get it to work like this. So this is actually really impressive. Um, I'm, I'm really curious to see how well this can be you know, kind of blown up for larger projects and more in-depth uh, kind of production ready stuff rather than just MVP quality. But either way, this is, again, this is the beginning. This is as bad as AI is ever going to get. So it's only going to go up from here. So replit.com, very cool. I will be using this to probably kind of stub out some applications from here because this is way better than going back and forth in chat GPT all the time. But Canvas is out now with OpenAI, which is also awesome. I don't know. There's so many tools now, it's hard to pick, but replit.com is pretty rad, and uh, you should definitely check it out. See you guys around. Bye. Nidus has just created the first iOS app made exclusively for identity management professionals. It's called Nidus Breachcast, and you can download it now. It's amazing. We have real-time updates of all the latest breaches that are occurring, CVEs as they come out real-time, really pertaining just to identity management. We have media that's going on this podcast. We're going to be bringing in a lot more others as well. And we even have a complete vendor list of all the identity management vendors and all their products so you can find out exactly where to download their software, all the documentation. And what's even more awesome is an identity management glossary. All those crazy words and acronyms that we can never remember, they're all listed in there for you. No ads, just pure information to make your life simple.